Alright, right, right, right. check it out. You here with your boy Ageless and your boy Schizo. You already know the exec of swag. Let me give y'all a quick briefing on what swag is. Spoken word that affects the gut. So moving on to Paul's campus, you know, to take poetry from that regular paper joint to an action, to a change. That's a movement and change that we start on the Paul's campus. So it starts here, you dig? Um, we've done this poem before, but we're gonna do it over. And we're gonna take the old one off because you know it might not be as good in joint. So just to slow it down, because we got a request to slow it down so you can really get the message the first time you hear it, so you don't gotta press rewind and play and do that whole thing again, all right? You ready? Yeah. About to hit him with a get it high, get it, get it high joint. All right, you ready? Yeah. Inner city streets quake with the hollow steps of empty souls. Broken hearts of early life givers running from infant tears and dumpsters. But life is hard. Understanding the way out is understanding how you got in. Stringing, cutting, cooking crack, toting mats and gat just to fit in. But schizo, who's to blame for the desperate means of survival to cloud our brains? But I stand here today to proclaim I'm a product of my environment. I shouldn't even seen graduation, but I was patient. I used education to answer my equation. Me plus football plus honor roll equals me plus a scholarship to the Paul. So I like your equation, even though math ain't exactly my persuasion. Where I'm from, we ain't even have books to go to school. It's thanks to God's graces I ain't become a fool. I had to use life experience to get out of school. The same country, but from different worlds where we learn to become ageless as time passes. Persevering in the cold weather and blossoming in the burning sun. And feeding our brains with the informative rains of our burning clouds. Ageless. True creativity is nameless. Being true to yourself is brainless. Telling the truth isn't always painless, but art, art is ageless. Now to you, I pose a question. If I create you art, am I not ageless? If you supply the retail of intricate detail in every line and keep your listeners punch drunk up the white wine of invisible rhymes and instead of carrying nines, you carry lines that can rip this world into lifeless vines, are you not ageless? As time passes and art, no matter what it is, inspires the masses, I want you to sit down and ask yourself, will I be remembered? If not, you better start before the way they change the conformity to your part because true creativity is nameless. Being true to yourself is brainless. Selling truth isn't always painless, but art, art is ageless. Skit, so. It's hard being me. When I wait for classes, I want to sleep. When I drink soda, I want to drink. And if I kiss you goodnight, I'm sweet. But in the back of my mind, I want to be. And it sounds like the struggle of an everyday man, but a house divided against itself won't stand, so I'm falling. Deeply descending down the dark crevice cavities of myself. Follow me. And to fully fathom the intricate and pinnacle realm of myself, you gotta be me. But who am I? I'm the math master, so I'm using math to master what I'm trying to say. I stand before you a man of not one, but two spirits. Not Chris, but Philly, and not Philly, but Chris. And here's the odd arithmetic. If one and one are two, and those two are also one, and two and one is three, then that set of four is me, schizo. You dig, you dig. All right, so let y'all know the message behind it. The whole point of the poem is to give y'all the importance of education. And although you start out with struggles, not saying that that quote unquote illusion that America spits you, pick yourself up by your bootstrap bullshit, no. but push yourself. Education is an important factor and you can't get nowhere without it. What's yeah. education? What's education to you? Fam? It's everything, it's like, it's like, it's either you come here and do work, or you go to McDonald's and do work, and you take the pick. That's what education is to me. So check it out. I got a comment on this poem already. Like I said, we already put it up, and it was to let people know that education is a right. It's not. It's not just a God given. Like it, it's not just. It's not, a privilege. it's not a privilege. It's definitely a right. Now that's true. Now to understand that America is. Definitely divided between the, the education that you get in the suburbs and the ones you get in the urban area. We're both from urban areas. And we came up from the shittiest schools and now we attend DePaul University. You dig? But then again, that's not saying it's not by chance. Everything happens for a reason. At least that's what I believe. Religiously. You dig? So, push yourself flat out. Like, that's all I gotta say. You have to value your education. Obviously, not too many people in this country value education because only 18% of all of America have a four-year bachelor's degree. I think that's like 12%. It might be 12? Yeah, I think it's low? 12. I know. Last time I checked, in 2000, in 2000 to 2002, it was 18% of all of America that had its bachelor's degree. It's, it's four-year bachelor's degree, you dig? And that's including everyone that's 24 and above. So that means all the veterans of World War I, World War II, everybody included has a bachelor's degree now if you take all of them out of the equation and just college students right now graduating that's less than eight percent all right so 
that's just that's just a little little knowledge for you to back up how important knowledge is and how little it's actually giving out or taking advantage of you dig all right so please leave comments you know subscribe to the channel we're gonna hit you up with a little more poetry a little more whatever whatever changes you want to see or whatever you want to hear about let us know right. we're gonna come out with some next joints letting you know what america really is you dig give me tearing down that illusion of what america is and uh I'm going to leave y'all with a little taste on your palate that I said today in class, all right? America gives you this illusion that you have to pull yourself up by your bootstraps, right? And that's how you get ahead. So now I ask you, now if you grow up in poverty and all you can afford is sandals, how you going to pull yourself up by your bootstraps? Let that marinate on your palate, you dig? America. Deuces.